All right, joining us now, Haley Baumgartner, senior press representative for the Trump campaign. Haley, thanks so much for being with us. Since we have you here, let's clear this up exactly. once and for all. Is there going to be a Donald Trump, Bernie Sanders debate? I wish I could tell you. I'm not a political fortune teller, so I, I, I can't answer that, unfortunately. Was Donald Trump serious when he said he would do it? I, I can't speculate on, you know, Mr. Trump's Why can't remarks. you speculate? You're a senior press representative for Donald Trump. Because I only Mr. Trump speaks for Mr. Trump. You represent the campaign. Is the campaign I making certainly... plans for a debate? Or is... Not that I'm aware of, no. Okay, no plans for a debate that you're aware of. I want to ask you about comments then made by the campaign chairman, Paul Manafort. Again, you are here as a representative from the Trump campaign. He told the Huffington Post about the Muslim ban, the proposed Muslim ban that Donald Trump made all the way back last December. He said he's going to bring it back towards the middle, within his comfort zone. He'll soften it some more. My question to you is, when it comes to the Muslim ban, where is the middle? Well, I think that, you know, now that clearly Mr. Trump um, has sealed in the nomination as it just broke in the press, um, we will be focusing on developing those policies more specifically moving forward into the process throughout the campaign. What does a more moderate Muslim ban look like? Um, I'm not sure. Honestly, I can't answer that at this point. I think that that's something that, you know, we'll sit down and, and develop more specifically, um, as well as the other issues that Mr. Trump looks forward to addressing. And we'll be talking about those more specifically on the cam campaign trail moving forward, including defeating right, ISIS, ask. revitalizing our economy, creating jobs, all the things that Mr. Trump will do um, as the president of the United States. Let's, uh, let's delve further into some of these statements made by the Trump campaign chairman, Paul Manafort. Uh, he was talking about the vice presidential selection process. He said he needs, Trump needs an experienced person who can do the part of the job he doesn't want to do. So our question is, what part of the job of being president doesn't Donald Trump want to do? Well, I think that, that you're kind of taking that out of context. I don't think that there's any part of the job that Mr. Trump doesn't want to do as president of the United States and as commander in chief. I think that what that statement meant was that um, he wants to be make sure that the pick is somebody that will complement um, the strengths needed in order to pass legislation, work with Congress. You know, Mr. Trump is not a professional politician. You know, he is a, a incredibly successful businessman, as he has proven. So I think that that's what uh, those remarks were, were meant to infer. Well, on the pick, Paul Manafort did say that they probably, you probably won't be picking a woman or a minority as a running mate because that would be viewed as pandering. Is there... So there is, is there not a qualified woman or minority out there to be running mate? Uh, you know what? I'm not part of that process. Um, Corey Lewandowski is managing the selection of the vice presidential pick. And what did, and he what is did heading Paul that Manafort up. mean? You know what? I, I can't speak for Paul. I wasn't there. I've not had a conversation with him about it. I can't speculate on what someone meant by what they said. I mean, that would be totally unfair. Let me ask you, you about your opinion. Again, you represent the Donald Trump campaign. I do represent the Donald Trump campaign. You're 100 percent correct. Um, however, I cannot speculate based off of another person who works for the campaign's remarks and what they meant by those. Only they can clarify um, what was specifically meant by what they said. Let's ask you then, as a longtime Republican and a woman, uh, Donald Trump, uh, Paul Manafort said that they're not going to pick a minority or a woman because it would be seen as pandering. Was the selection of Sarah Palin as running mate in 2008, was that pandering? I'm sorry, could you say that again? It broke up a little bit. Paul Manafort said that Donald Trump is unlikely to pick either a woman or minority as vice president because it would be seen as pandering. My question to you, just as a human, not necessarily representative for the Trump campaign, was the selection of Sarah Palin in 2008, was that pandering? I don't think that's pandering. I mean, Sarah Palin connects with the American people. She, uh, you know, was named as the most influential Republican women, woman recently by Newsmax. So absolutely not. I mean, there's nothing um, that a woman can't do that a, a man can do better. So I think it's just based on skill set and who's best for the job. And, you know, Mr. Trump has proven that in his hiring of women and his many businesses, uh, you know, in, in major real estate businesses back in the times when that wasn't popular. Is there, are there women out there you think are qualified to be Donald Trump's running mate? Because Paul Manafort thinks it would be viewed as pandering. But do you think there's a qualified woman out there? 
I'm sure there are many qualified women out there, but however, I'm not part of that process. That is something that, you know, Corey Lewandowski is heading up, but I'm, you know, there are many qualified men and women, um, you know, to be vice president of the United States. Absolutely. Again, it's so not based on gender. It's based on qualification. So you, Haley, do not think it would be pandering to pick a woman or a minority? I do not think that that has anything to even do with it. As I'm saying, to pick the proper vice presidential candidate, it's based on qualifications and performance. And who can best complement the strengths that Mr. Trump already brings to the table, which is being an incredibly successful businessman globally. And he's a political outsider. So I think that those are the biggest determining factors. Haley Bumgarner, senior press representative for the Trump campaign. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me.